More millennials than ever are jumping into homes. We're talking about all of that today in mortgages. Hey, what's going on, Dream Makers? Welcome back to Today in Mortgage, the show where we're breaking down the news in the mortgage and real estate industry and figuring out what's real, what's hype, and what you should be talking to your clients about. I got Rich Jefferson here with me today, and today you can call me the who because we are talking about my generation. Rich, what generation are you from? Uh, I'm a Gen Xer. Gen X. Today we're talking about millennials, that's my generation, and we got an article from CNBC titled, More Millennials Own Than Rent. And we're talking about millennial households here, not millennials overall, but Rich, uh, you talk about millennials a lot. You talk about millennials in the market and what that means and how we should be selling to them. Uh, does this surprise you? Yeah, well, a little bit. It did a little bit surprise me. Like little markets in small areas, it's not going to be your giant markets. Uh, because that's where they're predominantly renting, uh, just because of affordability issues. Yeah, but you're going to talk about affordability here in a little bit, and there's lots of things playing against us. Like I said, I'm a millennial. This stat comes from Rent Cafe, and it found that nearly 52% of millennial households, which includes groups of people living together under one roof, owned a home in 2022. And so that finally passed the 50% mark in 2022, coming out of the pandemic. Just to compare that, uh, Rich, how many how many people in your generation do you think own homes, households? Oh, Gen X, I, I believe it's in the uh, seventy high seventy percent range. Man, this article says sixty four percent of Gen Xers, sixty eight percent of Boomers, and seventy three percent of the Silent Generation. I pulled that stat down from from Google, so I don't know if it's accurate, but we'll check it out. If anyone has comments about it or knows it better than me. Leave it in the comment below. But, you know, we're talking about millennials uh, who are about the median age of 34 moving into homes. So, Rich, when do you think Gen X passed that benchmark of 50% home ownership? At what age? Oh, yeah. it was earlier. It was earlier. It says in the article it was age 32. So we're two years behind you guys. And so we're, we're slow to the take. But there's a lot of factors that play into that, Rich. Like, can you talk about some of the challenges that are facing millennial homeowners today? Well, the big thing is affordability. Obviously, uh, pricing is way up on real estate, so that's a big factor. Uh, the, the other factor is uh, millennials are burdened with college debt. So that that's a big thing. Uh, that, that could add up to $1,000 or more in monthly payment for a lot. When you combine a, you know, a, a family household, that could be you know, it could be a couple thousand dollars a month. That's that's a hard thing to, to a burden to carry with you when you're trying to buy a home. It sure is. And don't even get me started on saving for your kids' college in the future. <laughs> trying to do both at the same time is no fun, Rich. Yeah. So millennials at age 34 were born between uh, like 1989 and 19. 88. And so that means we're about halfway through that generation at age 34. Knowing that we're at 50% of millennial households, uh, what do you think that means for the market moving forward for millennials? Well, you should be very excited to work with millennials over the next five or 10 years because it's right now today, it's 36 to 38 million people in that generation. So there's a lot of opportunity out there and real estate agents and loan officers should be really excited to work with millennials because there's so much growth there. Yeah, and just as a reminder, the distinction here is that these are millennial households. So there's a lot more households in the millennial age group to be formed because as you know, us millennials are uh, you know buying avocado toast so we can't start families. But, <laughs> but that's happening. Uh, hey man, uh, millennials also have a ton of uh, gym memberships too. So <laughs> it's a nice, healthy generation. But the, the benefits to real estate agents and loan officers going forward, while 52% of millennials live in household owned homes, right? We talked about combined in a household that might be their first home and they don't have kids yet. So they're likely going to be buying up in the next 10 to 15 years because they're gonna have kids and need to grow and need a bigger house. So get your arms around millennials because that's our future in the housing and finance arena. Yeah, so true, Rich. I mean, there's a lot of opportunity coming up and there is a lot of market share out there to be won. So 
Rich, before we get into some ratings, and actually I want to look ahead to Gen Z, uh, I'm going to take a quick pause and let everybody out there that's listening or watching know about a free resource that we have if you want to get in front of millennials and you want to do that better. We have a free downloadable ebook that you can check out right now, and it's going to give you five tips to get ahead while things are down. And these are five easy ways for you to boost your marketing now so you can get in front of more market share later. So go check that out. It's at Today and More. Mortgages.com slash marketing. Again, that's today in mortgages.com slash marketing. All right, Rich, uh, I had pulled some stats on Gen Z because that's what's coming after me. But Gen Z made up only 9% of all first time home purchase applications in 2022, and that's according to CoreLogic. But, Rich, this was kind of telling. It said 34% of Gen Z members believe that buying a home will always be out of reach for financial reasons. Listen, Gen Z is 26 years old and younger right now today, right? So they're still young. Some are in graduate school. They're not even out of school. So yeah, they're maybe a little discouraged because if their parents or their family didn't pay for college, they took on student debt. And so their burden, you know, the outlook is is okay for them, but they're carrying a lot of debt. But the benefit is they're also making a lot more money coming out of college than any of us did. So they're going to buy homes. It's just going to take them a little longer. Like look at, look at the millennials. That's 27 to 42 years of age. So there's a ton of time. Things will happen. Our market's going to settle down and uh, stabilize. Our rates are going to come down, making things more affordable. It's definitely true. Hey, I'm really excited. Listen, the millennials and the up and coming Gen Z uh, folks, there's a lot of opportunities. So if you're a real estate agent and or a loan officer, you need to be out there educating and put your arms around these generations because that's your future in this industry. A lot of business to be won out there, Rich. So, hey, thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you liked what you heard today, we got more advice at todayatmortgages.com. And if you really love what we're doing here, you can like, share, comment below. Hey, Rich, thank you so much for joining us today. Everybody out there, thank you so much for watching and listening. We'll see you next time on Today in Mortgages. Today in Mortgages is produced by Network Funding LP, which is an equal housing lender, NMLS 2297. The content of this program is meant to be a commentary on mortgage and real estate news, and any discussion of rates and or products should not be taken as an individual mortgage or home buying advice or pricing estimates. And any commentary on this show should not be considered a promise to make a loan. All applicants for a loan must qualify, and you should consult a professional regarding your individual loan scenarios for your financial situation. Visit our website at nfp.com slash licenses for all state licensing and other legal information.